Hi there, it's Jim Davis here with uh, DVS Direct. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about Nutex NDI technology. Now NDI stands for Network Device Interface. And what it is is a way to route video from various sources over your gigabit network. So instead of having to run, say, SDI cable or HDMI cable from your cameras, you can run those uh, into a network through an NDI connect box or any uh, device that's NDI enabled over the network and into your production switcher, which could be a TriCaster or any other uh, product that has NDI incorporated into it. So uh, two questions I had about NDI uh, were latency, which is, is there any delay in the video? So from the, say, the, uh, the local SDI input in the TriCaster to my source coming in NDI, am I going to see any kind of delay there? And the second thing was quality. So how good does the video look? So what I've done is I've set up a simple test scenario to, to uh, look into this. And let me show you real quick what I've done so you kind of understand how this is working. So what we have is a PTZ Optics a 20X SDI camera going into a standard SDI distribution amplifier. And then coming out of the SDI DA, I'm running one SDI run into a Matrox VS4 card in an NDI capture box that I built. The second source is coming out and it's going into a Blackmagic Design mini recorder in a second NDI connect box that I built. And then the third video is coming out and going into input number one in the TriCaster. So what that does is gives me a point of reference that I can compare the local video uh, source, ND SDI source, to the uh, NDI sources coming in over the network. So uh, I've created an ME in the TriCaster to look at all these sources simultaneously. So let's bring it up. So there you can see now, I'm uh, showing you at the top left, you can see the local SDI input signal. Uh, the second one on the next to that, to the right of it, at the top, is NDI coming from our Matrox VS4 card. And the third source is at the bottom there is the Blackmagic Design Mini Recorder. Now I should point out that these machines are all connected by a standard gigabit network, nothing fancy there, and a standard $39 gigabit switch. So um, that's all you really need in terms of infrastructure. Uh, let me put a point, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this, this flashlight and I'm just going to put a simple point of reference on the video that we can use now to uh, look at the different sources and see what kind of timing, if any, we have, any issues we have. So uh, let's look at that now. I actually recorded this earlier. So there we go. Now you can see uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub ahead until the light comes on. There we go. So. Now, as you can see, uh, the light seems to be coming on instantaneously in my SDI inputs and my NDI inputs. That's incredible. I mean, that's fantastic. I, I'm really excited about that. Now, I will say that I've run this test quite a few times, and occasionally I'll see maybe one frame of latency. It's probably less than a frame because you can't really see between frames when you're scrubbing through the video. but um, even that is more than acceptable for, uh, for doing what we're doing here. So latency doesn't look like it's an issue. Now the second thing that I wanted to look at, and what we're going to do is go back to uh, input number one, which is my SDI input. And what I want to do now is compare the quality between these three sources. So right now you're looking at SDI in from the TriCaster itself. And I can select input number two and go to it. And now you're looking at the uh, number two input, which is the VS4 card. Now I'll just cut to input number three, which is the Blackmagic recorder. And as you can see, I can switch back and forth. I'm doing it right now. Switch to three, take two, take one, take three. And uh, you can't really see any difference in the video. Now, it's kind of hard to see the quality on a stream. But if you look at the video quality locally, just right looking at the machine right now, it, I can't see any difference. It's beautiful video coming from all of my uh, 
my various sources. It's basically as good as the camera is creating as far as the video quality goes. So this is very exciting. Um, well, that's it for now. Uh, I'll probably be doing some more videos on different sources as time permits. So hopefully you'll come back and check us out. Again, my name is Jim Davis with the DVS Direct. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by. See you later.